Why are many people still living in unsafe buildings five years since the Grenfell Tower fire? The fire at Grenfell, which killed 72 people, started in a faulty fridge in one of the flats. But the fire ended up engulfing the entire building because it had been covered in flammable cladding. It later emerged that 486 tall buildings, those that were 18 metres or higher, had the same type of cladding as Grenfell, leaving the people living in those flats at risk. As of last month, 58 of those 486 buildings still have yet to have their cladding removed, the government says. But that's not the whole picture. That number only relates to buildings over 18 metres tall. There are buildings under 18 metres that have grenfell style cladding on them, but the government doesn't provide figures on these. So the exact number of people affected by unsafe cladding is unclear. One estimate says that about half a million people in the UK are still living in a building with some sort of unsafe cladding. It's meant that owners living in these buildings have been unable to sell their flats until the cladding's been sorted, leaving them trapped and facing big bills to pay for the repairs. So what's being done about it? The government pledged at the start of the year that no flat owners will have to pay to fix unsafe cladding after all, and that it would be down to housing developers to pay for it. A total of £5 billion will be stumped up by the building industry to sort the problem, and it can't come soon enough for those living in the blocks with unsafe cladding.